to the channel or welcome back. I'm super, super excited today because I have for months just been planning in my head what I was going to do with the garden for this season and it's time to go outside and get my hands a little dirty and I'm, I just can't wait. So if you haven't been to my channel before, you may want to check out my full garden makeover. We bought a 1966 Fixer Upper about two years ago and I had never grown anything before. Um, didn't even know if I was capable of keeping a plant alive. But the garden looked terrible here. So I had to do some research and really just figure it out. <laughs> and it just was such a amazing experience that I don't think I'll ever go back. So it's the first week of March right now. So I'm going to get out into the garden and do some cleanup, pull some weeds. Uh, it's really overrun with weeds and it makes me feel so bad every time I look at it and it's it's kind of overwhelming. I'm about to get out there over the next few days, just take my time and get all the weeds pulled out that I can, get some things cut back. Um, I'm not going to cut back the hydrangeas just, just yet. I'll wait another week or two um, because I'm trying to decide if I'm going to move some of those around. So let's get into it. So here we are outside and as you can see, things are starting to wake up, but with waking up came all of these weeds. All of this, as you see, nothing but weeds. It looks like I planted that, right? It's kind of hard to tell the actual plants from the weeds that shouldn't be there at this point. And these are the last remaining day lilies from last year. Those will be coming out. It really is just a weed takeover. It's like revenge of the weeds for me pulling them out last year. My creeping phlox, I'm so happy with. It looks so bright and healthy. I can't wait till those grow and spread more. Basically, all the green that you see back there is nothing but weeds. Pulling the weeds this year was so much easier than it was last year. Uh, the weeds were coming right out really easily, root and all. And the soil was so much nicer as well. So it was nice to see that bit of positive progress. I've been falling my phone, I got options. And I don't want to tell you to drop it. But I don't want to play your game.
has a call in reinforcements because these daylily tubers i think they are they were a beast to get out and i just didn't feel like wrestling with them so husband came out and pulled those out with ease <laughs> Next, I worked on cutting back the First Love Veronica's um, and then the cone flowers. I just cut off anything that was brown and dead, uh, cut it down to the base of the plant as far down as I could go. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular?
pause to appreciate what I think is the little woodpecker in this huge tree in my neighbor's yard that so graciously allows us to borrow millions of leaves every year. So we came out a third day and finished pulling all the weeds. I didn't get footage of that, but this is what it is looking like. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I am so excited. I can't wait to start planting new things and to get everything fertilized and get some blooms going in here. I'm just so excited. I can't wait. And this is the left garden bed. I didn't get footage, but we just pulled all the leaves out. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. No, I really can't complain. Everything is straight. I did on the way.